Well, I figured out the, the miss. Uh, it was a bad camshaft positioning sensor. And also there was a bad coil for the number four cylinder. So at an idle, it would be missing and hesitating. So I had to take the water pump and everything back off to replace the camshaft uh, positioning sensor. It was still running because it has a crank positioning sensor by the starter. So between this and the one coil pack, now there's no codes at all. It's running perfectly fine now. And while I'm also here, I am uh, getting the air conditioning charged up with Freon. I also got it inspected. That's done. The ABS light was on, but that was just because the fuse was missing. So that's uh, out too. So uh, just a few other little odds and ends. And of course, I got to clean that stuff off the door and give it a good bath. But uh, there's the number four coil that was uh, not completely bad. Almost, but like going down the road, it was fine. But at idle, it would be missing and hesitating. So it, even though it had spark, it just not at the low end. So that's also done. Uh, still don't know what this unit does. Uh, figure that out later. Uh, some kind of power thing. Um, and uh, the light bar is working. I still need to figure out the strobes. The unit for the strobes is right here behind the seat. I just gotta figure it out uh, how it's wired in. So there's power going into it, but they, I guess, removed the switch or the switch was hooked up to the hydraulic pump. So when you turn on the hydraulic pump, the strobes will come on automatically, but that's still stuff I gotta figure out at the house. Also, there's no airflow through the dash, which that I knew when I got the truck. So I'm pretty sure there's a, a mouse nest in the heater core right in front of the AC uh, uh, condenser uh, in the dash. So I gotta drill like a one inch hole and try to fish out and clean out any of the mouse nest stuff so now I can get airflow through the, the heater vents and everything. Very little goes through right now, but little by little I'm getting everything done so whoever buys the truck won't have any issues. We also need wheel sensors because three of the four wheel sensors are not working. So there's just the internal batteries are dead. So that's the other thing I got to do. Uh, yesterday I had this wheel off to free up uh, the parking brake that was stuck on a little bit. So that's done. We also got to remove this uh, big unit in the back of this. So, um, I, saw, uh, I believe it just bolts in, so I got to unhook the hydraulic lines and uh, unbolt it, I believe, from underneath and pull this unit out so I can try to sell this separately. See, with this unit out, what you could do is put in like a generator welder combination. So that's why there's a door here you open for the vent so uh, air could circulate through. So uh, you can see like from the inside how it's caged off. But uh, like I said, once that unit is out, you can put a nice diesel welder combination in. You can probably also put some acetylene torches and tanks and uh, like your gas for the MIG welders and stuff, like right there in the corner. So it all ties in. Uh, these uh, locks are not going into these holes. So I gotta like uh, uh, oval these holes a little bit so the pins will go in and lock it shut. Uh, also, I gotta get a key made. Uh, for these locks because I never got the key for these locks Now you still have the main locks So you could still put one padlock on it and it locks all the doors Well, I'm at the junkyard looking to see if I could find a, a pair of seats for this truck and I think I just found them So I found this Silverado. Uh, it does not have the leather seats, but it has the fabric seats in it with the center console so uh, the driver's seat had a, already had a seat cover on it, so that was good. Uh, so the seats are good. This little bit of a tear, but that I could kind of like sew up. But uh, I might just get this whole set of seats. Uh, they are uh, gray to match the interior. Like this interior is gray also. And I also need uh, that uh, interior light up there. So if I can get that interior light and these seats with the center console, we can put it in this truck and get this uh, back to the regular interior. And uh, also replace this that got broken. There's also a few little odds and ends I needed, but uh, there's another truck I might be able to get them or I could just get them brand new, but uh, yeah, they already stripped this quite a bit already. But uh, really not bad. So I just gotta go down there and let my friend know what seats I want so he could have his parts guys pull the parts for me. Well, I'll come back with my tools and I'll pull them out myself.